Minister of Foreign Affairs and the designee of President Weir, His Excellency President Weir, um, who co chaired his meetings. I want to thank my colleagues um, uh, from the JPTT, both from the side of the president elect, our colleagues are here, and um, from the side of uh, President Weir, the members of the current government who are all present. We want to um, express our thanks and appreciation for the level of cooperation, the great spirit of nationalism and patriotism that is being displayed. Uh, uh, we started off our meeting um, on a great footing by first extending gratitude and greetings on behalf of the, the president of Liberia as well as the president-elect. Uh, we convey messages and sentiments of the decision and commitment to continue to cooperate with this process and to ensure that Liberia continue to remain that great model, that great beacon for the watershed of the democratic consolidation that we have achieved. And with that commitment, we remain siege of our agenda and continue to discuss. Um, Minister Kimia and the entire body, first, um, especially in his address, acknowledge the fact that we had to express our condolences and our sympathy with the, uh, our people, not only in Bonn County, but um, our entire country for the loss of life in Tututa in Bonn County. We continue to share in the difficulty, the suffering, the pain, and the agony of the men and people who not only die, but who remain in hospital and we pray that uh, the healing will come and we can pray for the healing, the speedy recovery. As it relates to the conversation we had today, key on the agenda was to receive the report from the inaugural committee. Uh, we want to inform the public that the budget of the committee has been approved um, by President Weah. Uh, he has committed to ensure that uh, the process is fully accelerated and the full cooperation of the current government is in place. All the agency and the machinery that should be in place to accelerate this process and to ensure the full, fullest implementation has been energized, um, they have been authorized and they have been adequately informed about the need to come together and ensure that inauguration is uh, second to none in the world. And we, we are very happy to, 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 to report that. The next thing is I've received reports from the various working groups. Uh, as you already know, we have established about 12 clusters working on various thematic areas and sectors of our governance. Uh, they have been working with various ministry and agencies. We noted the level of cooperation so far, the level of compliance and um, engagement. We also noted that like every other situation, there could be challenges and they were discussed uh, with more information and communication we expect, we expect that uh, by the next meeting we'll receive all of the report necessary to move forward. We received the, uh, the, what was the outline for our final reporting. We have a committee that has been set up that, had, um, that is chaired by the head of the Civil, uh, Civil Service Agency, James Thompson, and co-chaired by Madam Cyril Besto Ginanti. Uh, they provided us with an online that had been approved by the JPTT. Um, we received a number of um, the plan uh, moving forward as well as the initial report from the Secretariat that has also been approved. So on a very positive note, in, this, in the great spirit of what we want to achieve, a smooth, peaceful transition 
um, we want to report to all Liberians and all of those who may be concerned about how, about how much progress we are making, that significant progress has been made. And we noted that as Liberians, we have a collective duty and obligation to ensure that um, we are able to have a peaceful transition. I want to thank uh, uh, Minister Kimia. Um, in, our, in one of our meetings, um, we acknowledge that um, a letter was sent to President Weir uh, requesting several actions and making several recommendations. Um, I'm sure the public is now aware that on December 18, in a letter uh, directive issued December 18, um, President Weir approved I think, all of those recommendations in its totality. And so we want to state clearly that in that uh, beginning spirit of cooperation, we continue on our course. We have a duty and obligation to make sure that wherever there are difficulties, we will overcome them. That is a commitment we have because our principles have demonstrated and continue to commit that we will indeed have a mature, a responsible transition and will be a symbol to the world as we have been the symbol have a peaceful election, we will determine and we will be determined to have a peaceful transition. Um, so I just want to thank all of you members of the press that you know we will continue to tread on the positive trend and the good news uh, from our country. In the sea of challenges in this region, we must remain the shining light and we will continue to do that. We must work towards that. And so on behalf of our colleagues, I want to say thank you on behalf of uh, Kemia, the Vice President-elect who had to leave, the President-elect, as well as the President of the Republic of Liberia, George Manuel We want to say thank you. I want to say we, we're grateful to you members of the press for the hard work you are doing. We're also grateful to the Liberian people for their continuous patience, their understanding. Obviously, what you may hear if you have any, any doubt and you need any information and clarification, you know where to go. We have a secretariat. We have uh, Jordan Solante. We have Amos Square who are on the secretariat. You can always refer to them for information. We will certainly provide you the information. So I want to say thank you very much. Mr. Kimia, thank you very much for hosting us in the ministry. We appreciate it very much. And we appreciate the level of cooperation and support. I learned that yesterday you had almost five hours here with your own uh, cluster on foreign, foreign relations and international relations. And so um, these are just part of the challenge we face, but also part of the great success story that we have for our people in Liberia. So I want to thank you all very much and really appreciate it. Thank you. So we, we will now listen to Minister Kimea, after which we will just entertain two questions. Just two questions. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Twelve. Thank you, uh, my dear friend and brother, Honorable Woos, for your very welcoming, very welcoming. And inspiring words. So yes, like he rightly said, we did kick off and in our message taking into consideration the unfortunate situation in Totota. And we did call observation of a moment of silence in loving memory of our falling compatriots and others as a result of the 
fire incident. And there are a few oil tanker in Totota, Bon County to be specific. We yeah, are indeed and we've been in a state of in a state of mourning as a country. And in particular bereaved families. And so we did fervently pray and hope that God the Almighty will ensure the recovery of uh, those killed. But we also did resolve during our meeting today that moving forward there will be media engagements. Whether we are having GPTT meeting or not, there will be media engagement in our continued effort has been done now to feed yes on behalf of our respective leaders as he indicated we brought uh, greetings and best wishes his excellency president dr weir his excellency president elect ambassador Wakai. the meeting was very productive can see the level of cordiality, the level of cordiality, spirit, and intent of the meeting. We are not doing any favor to the Liberian people. It is an unconditional obligation that we have to ensure continuously that there is a transition. 2018, we had transition. We are having transition in 2024. This will not be the last transition. There will be transitions. So we are very pleased with the level of support and cooperation from the two sides, the spirit of nationalism and patriotism, which will continue. We want to encourage you, members of the media, members of the folk estate to remain on a path of positive reporting regarding the transition. It is in the best interest of the country. Of course, we're not asking you to cover up when something goes wrong. No. But it's patriotic. It's part of patriotic duty you know, of all of us, world meaning Liberians, to project the positives coming out of the transition. So we want to encourage you to uh, continue to, to do that. So if there's anything out there as was stated, you know, as you've heard from Honorable Woods, and hearing from me, that we are on an irreversible positive trend with respect to the transition. Yes, the budget was approved by His Excellency as has been stated, you know, with respect to the transition, the inauguration. So the government we are on course, the incoming we are on the incoming is on course. Together we are all on course. And I have no doubt that such will be the case to the final uh, inauguration. Thank you. Thank you. We're now listening to questions from just New Democrat and uh, Angel, gentleman there. Angel TV. Okay. Angel on the TV. Angel TV. Okay. Thank you very much. And my question goes to Anthony Kofi. What is the of transparency? What is the amount of money requested for the inauguration? Um, we. Um, the total amount was about, what's the figure? 650,000. 650,000. Yeah. That's what yeah. was approved. Yeah. That had been requested and approved. 650,000 US. US dollars. United States, 650,000. 
in your TV. Yeah, yeah. So approved by the government. president. Mm -hmm. Well, the media is interested in knowing where are those extra activities going to combine of the inauguration on the 22 of January. Sir? What are those activities combined of the inauguration? Well, the head of the inaugural committee, uh, Madam uh, Miata Famile, will give you the details. Um, they will be rolling out the list of activities, the protocols, and all of the various uh, ceremonies associated uh, with the inauguration. She will be um, um, leading that process. So by the 19th, they will be releasing that information. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, as you know, will normally release the protocol of the various activities and events. So we want you to wait for, for, for that. Um, as indicated previously, we had already collectively committed to a very modest and uh, simple process. The, and you know, when you have budget, you have the um, actual budget, but then you, it goes through continual revision in terms of what needs to be done and what could be done. So in the final analysis, you will get the, the final document, the final report, or all of the expenditure. In our meeting, the co-chair, uh, Minister Kimia, um, also stated very clearly that the issue of uh, accountability and compliance with the rule of law, various policy of governance, will also be respected, consistent with the mandate of the Liberian people and the mandate of the two leaders, who will be consistent with all budgetary provisions, will consult with all the agencies and entities that should be involved to ensure that irrespective of our inauguration, we will still insist on accountability and respect for our laws. So if I may quickly on the inauguration, there are three key activities that you need to watch out for. There will be intercessory service uh, with respect to uh, from the Muslim end. There will be intercessory on the Christian end. And then of course, uh, the swearing in ceremony. The intercessory services will be on Friday, the Friday Sunday. and the Sunday preceding the inauguration day. And then the swearing in at 12 midday on Monday, January 22nd. Preparation has been made for a total of 5,000 deaths. A total of 5,000 deaths. When I say guests, I'm not saying people coming from outside. Totally, Liberians, everyone attending the inauguration. A total of that. So we expect that number uh, to be at the capital. And then following that reception wise, 4,000 and then 1,000 EVRP, including heads of states and equivalent of that level that will come for that. So yes, like Attorney Wu said, uh, we don't want to, we got a release of the calendar, you know the calendar of events will be released by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but we just thought to give you a gist, so you don't have uh, an impression that things are not on course, so that's how we're giving you sort of these uh, information, but we are well on course. Things have been well and like you really said, transparency and accountability within the framework of the financial management system, compliance and the law, you know, we, we indicated the stress uh, must be strictly found as it relates to the disbursement of funds for the inauguration. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Albert. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, 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 Thank you,
on the pending another program that will be held on the 22nd of January. As another inauguration of the president elect Joseph Nisbaka. Thanks for watching. This is Focus on Liberia, wherever you are. Thanks for joining us. My name is Gwendolyn Dorado. Cynthia.